Could get a little chance. Can he conjure some magic? It shouldn't have gone through from there, but it has. And the Demons move a step closer to a grand new flag into its first grand final in 21 long years. Bontempelli, Hunter Bontempelli. That's fine. Three goals again in a final, Bailey Smith. It's the underdogs, undermanned and on the road. They're into their fourth grand final in 97 seasons. It's unique. We've had to wait an extra week, 14-day build-up, but finally it is here. Grand final day Woo! 2021 <laughs> in Perth and two teams that for a long time have really been barren of any great success. 2016 for the Dogs broke it, but for the Dees fans, 57 years, and they may only have to wait a couple more hours. We are the armchair experts. It is an honour and a privilege to kickstart grand yes. final the day. new ball. <laughs> you can get involved. Hashtag armchair experts at 7 AFL. Adam Cooney, Georgie Parker, yes. Cam Luke. This is exciting. Look at this. Uh, I got my doggy scarf on. The team you walked out on, you're back on the bandwagon. <laughs> I've worn this one since grand final day in 2016. Yep. Oh, there's been a few flat supporters. We understand that, the Bulldogs. They couldn't get, a lot of them mm -hmm. couldn't get over to Perth to see the game. But no one's more flat than me because in 2016, when All the Doggies made you, the grand it? final, the amount of cash that I made, yep. sorry, money <laughs> that I made doing interview after interview about the doggies fortunes mm. and this year not one not, uh, a, not a penny has come my way yeah. no, I'll tell you what a lot of dogs fans here in the joint 2016 got a little extra cream on top because they were able to yeah. boo this man yep. when he was in the uh, <laughs> it was a, it was a the perfect lap. day for the dogs they booed me pre-game and the doggies lifted the cup what a George day. how you doing I'm good I'm, I'm going for the D's today I just hope straight off the top oh, I hey. am I am we're looking you've got you've early got with your prediction. I've got my gawny jumper on I'm just so excited like you said Said. It's just there's so much history behind both of these clubs and it's so nice to see a couple of Victorian teams have battled it out for a while, particularly Melbourne. So I'm excited to see how they're going. We've got the fans, of course, watching in, joining in, getting excited. Bit of a longer wait than normal. D's yeah. and Dogs fans, have a look at them. There's the D's fans, 57 <laughs> years, 21 years since their last granny. And they're already nicely have fired up. Have a look up. at them, passion. They are and... Well, the Dogs fans, they had this in 2016 with that remarkable run and, well, they're on the verge five years later of being able to see two, I think. How many How many of those uh, one, cheer squad two, members? Three, four. There's about six out of the uh, nine there that used to babysit the Cooney kids. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. And to be fair to be said, that if the game was in Melbourne, a few of them would have extra well, Cooney kids today probably around. Well, they might not even be able to watch the game because they'd just be <laughs> running around looking after my kids all afternoon, all evening. <laughs> Hashtag armchair experts to get involved. Wherever you are, D's, dogs, or if you're a neutral fan and have jumped on a bandwagon, let us know. Hit us up at 7AFL and uh, the big match. A big Mac for the big match. Oh, that's good. Play all that thanks to Maccas. Fast. Big Mac for the match. Get involved. All thanks to Maccas. I'm loving, I'm loving the fans around the country. And this uh. is what happens, it, be it... Hardcore passionate fans or even the neutral fans, they get involved. You ever painted a fence, Georgie? Uh, not those colours, that's mm -hmm. for sure. But th it's been everywhere as well. It's all through Richmond. Usually you see the stupid Richmond flags everywhere. But oh, 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 they're gone. <laughs> they're gone. They're done. Yeah. They're going to finish ninth for the next few years. But it's now oh, gone. Oh, come on, Twitter now. outrage. Check your Twitter post show. <laughs> oh, can't wait. It's now Melbourne colours everywhere. And then you head west, you've got the, the doggies colours. And it's been a fun activity for people. We're all in lockdown, so it's well. nice for people to have some passion and it's exciting for all of them and it's nice colours to be able to do it too as yeah, well. Yeah, it certainly is. Footscray generally is probably three or four houses that are painted red, white and blue all year round mm. but I think that's accelerated to about 1,000, 2,000. I think Amit Bain's got involved. <laughs> he painted his house red, white and blue. I wonder how... Is that what he rang you for? <laughs> yes. Do they know that they've got to then paint it back? Or are they going to keep it? Like if they nah. lose, how how long do you keep it up for if you lose? If you win, if you win... <laughs> keep it up for a year. Yeah, minimum. So, if you if lose, you demolish it and maybe move. Or is it like a Christmas tree? It stays up until you can be bothered bringing it down until the next grand final comes around. Well, while there have been some great moments this week when it comes to fans showing their passion, there have been a couple of questionable mm. ones, OK? Which are, this is what our show's <laughs> about, social media banter. Right now, Georgie's getting smacked by Richmond fans, <laughs> but there's a couple, have a look at this one. Now, now you follow this guy, apparently. Apparently. apparently you follow this guy. Now, check this out, OK? So there you go. He's had a bit of a whack. He's, he's whacked, uh, you know, obviously the, the fact that the Dogs fans can't afford to buy and then they've had to uh, obviously ask for permission. Okay. And then he put the flag out. And there we go. 
So he got shut down. Mm, shut down. Body Corp said, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hold up, Mr. Big Shot. Body You're not what? allowed to do this. I, I actually don't know this guy, but I'm pretty sure he lives in Collingwood, and maybe that's part of the reason. He's mm -hmm. not living where somewhere where those colours are acceptable, but that's not the Australian that's not. spirit. Absolutely Bob not. Bob Hawke would say that's bum behaviour. That's why we rent in Footscray with a hard-working <laughs> Western Suburbs crew. There's no point in having a mortgage if you can't put your flag up. No, absolutely. You got an air horn or anything? What do you have an air horn oh, for? No. Adam? <clears throat> so I don't know if you saw uh, one of the signs up there. That's your honk if you're feeling gawny. <laughs> and uh, let me tell you, I'm feeling gawny today. So uh, I might just throw that I out every, take, now, every now and now. No. I might take that no, from you. You do not take my gawny horny. Yeah, don't touch the man when he's gawny. That's something oh, I've learned I, over the armchair so It's too early for uh, comments like that. Is it? Like that. <laughs> I'm, done, I'm giving not, you some advice. I'm not here. I'm really PG, but I might honk if I'm feeling gawny throughout the uh, episode. Now, of course, there are so many hospitable people around the world, but in particular in grand final week, mm. and I like this. Special cakes. Special cakes in the colours. Have a look at this. We'll make a, a Marcus Bonson Pally cake. Have you seen? Look at that. Any in the <laughs> AFL or AFLW Bulldogs. Of course, the AFLW Bulldogs won a flag a couple of years ago as well. You get four business days. You've given plenty of notice. No Jordan sweet no cakes. Sweet cake. <laughs> <laughs> All savoury. But now, you pay petrol. Yeah, pay petrol. Fair enough. <laughs> yes. But there's a slight concern. Because if the ingredients you need are in coals, <laughs> this person is not allowed back. What? Why is that? <laughs> I, I don't know. From Coles? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't have the guts to DM and ask why they've been banned from coals. So lifting cake mix. If the cake and the ingredients are available at it at a Woolies, no dramas. Coles. Coles is out. No good. <laughs> 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 Hashtag up to experts. So is uh, how you're being passionate this week at 7 AFL as we're joined by a very special guest. He's as nervous as anyone. He's been there on grand final day and I'm almost going to certainly say that Russell Robertson has not been banned from Coles, but he is able to correct us as he joins now. Robbo, hello to you, buddy. <laughs> Uh, no, I've got three ravenous young boys. I get the welcome mat rolled out when I get to <laughs> come in, buy our food. Hey, mate, welcome. It's exciting. We're excited. You being a, a D's legend as you are. How are you feeling? How has the last couple of weeks been for you? Uh, look, I'm just like everybody else, really. Um, like Coons there, he, uh, you know, we, we just feel the pain for the supporters, especially ours. I mean, Coons, obviously, you're... Your guys had a taste of it not long ago. Ours, it's been over 50, what is it, 57 years. So, uh, you know, they've been there through thick and thin and there's been some real thin over the last uh, uh, probably 20 years. And the fact that they can't go and revel in this has just been awful. So, you know, we've, we've been trying our hardest at the club to uh, make sure they feel a part of it, but it's nothing like the real thing, is it? As a former player, we've seen some champions that have missed out on premierships over the years uh, in tears post-game when they've won it. Have you allowed yourself to go there just yet? How are the emotions leading in? No, we'll leave all that blubbering, crying stuff to uh, Billy Brownless. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Richo. <laughs> and Richo. Come on now, it's not about you. Mm -hmm. um, I'll, I'll, just be, I'll be loving it. I'll be fist pumping all the way. Every game I've just been in my living room giving it these ones. No one's allowed to watch footy with me, though. Oh, the boys have got to get the hell out because they don't, <laughs> they don't care enough. They don't get upset enough. They're not... Uh, they're just not good enough as far as I'm concerned when, when I'm watching the footy. So... Um, uh, it's um, it's it's just going to be excitement for me. And I tell you what, I'd love to get one of those jumpers, George. That's that's a ripping jumper you're wearing there. Yeah, it's a ripper. The Carlton Draft, have a look at them online. But I've heard that you guys have a WhatsApp group. It's got 150-odd past players in it. Have you muted that yet? That must be going <laughs> absolutely bananas. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've managed to turn off the... Uh, Turn off the what are they the notifications, and I've also made sure that photos don't get saved to my uh, to my <laughs> camera roll. My, to my camera roll, if you know what I mean. So. <laughs> hey, Robbo, you were there 21 years ago. Last time the D's played in the grand final. While the result, of course, didn't go the, the way of Melbourne and yourself on that day, you had a nice day, two goals, and and, and was solid. Do you, do you look back and have fond memories of that week, the build up and the season, even though the granny, of course, in the end, wasn't the result you wanted? Yeah, look, I have. I was a baby, really, when you think about it. 19, 20 years of age, you come from Tasmania. I didn't know much about football at all. I didn't know much about this whole Melbourne and the AFL thing. And, and all of a sudden, you're playing in front of 100,000 people at the MCG doing, uh, uh, you know, parades in the middle of the city with 200,000 people. It was just phenomenal. And uh, to soak all that in is almost impossible. Uh, I tried my best. 
uh, in the game. We knew that we were up against it with Essen, and they were just this all-conquering team. We needed to start well. We needed to be the exciting young team that we were. But at the end of the day, we thought we'd get back there uh, because we were a young side, but we never actually quite did. So um, we're back there 21 years later, and I feel like we're better placed now. I'm watching it going, geez, these guys, I feel like we're going to be good for a little while to come. But um, you never quite know, and that's been the message from us past players to to these guys, you never quite know whether you will make it back there. This could be it. So just make every post a winner. All right, so you're obviously tipping the Ds to win. Can we get a quick Norm Smith medal prediction from you, Robbo? Yeah, well, of course, Max will be, be right in the figure. He's, um, he's been amazing the whole uh, uh, final series. But I'm going to go a couple of Smokies because uh, I think that's what people are looking for. Uh, good odds. I reckon uh, someone like a Lever or a May um, might, um, might just get one of those, a la a Brian Lake uh, when, uh, when he played for Hawthorne, uh, just taking marks in the back line. If we're taking marks across our half-back yeah. like Lee's done all year, you know we're going to win the game because we've put pressure on enough that the, the doggies have had to bomb it and we're getting the ball back. And once we get the ball back, boys and girls, we're, uh, we're really good at owning the ball all the way back up the other end of the ground. So uh, I'm looking for, oh, if I was allowed to bet, I'm not because I'm a Melbourne uh, employee. I'd be putting <laughs> extra dollars on uh, on Jakey Lever. Good luck tonight, mate. Enjoy it. Mm-hmm. And you've got a busy day as well. Where can we catch you a little bit later in the day hanging with the D's fans? Yes, uh, I jump on a bit of a vodcast that I've been doing just for the D's fans and, of course, football fans everywhere. It's on my Facebook fan page. I hate saying that, my <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> Big fan of your own fan page. We like that. <laughs> Sneaky little plug. <laughs> <laughs> Robo Live. You can check all Guys, I, last night I interviewed Alan Jakovic, one of the great moments of my life. How good was that? I have, uh, I've had Jack Watts on, David Needs, David Schwartz, some of the greats, and they're just talking about their demons at the moment. So we're starved of that uh, contact uh, with our club. So I decided to jump on. Catch me on Robo Live tonight, Facebook. Outstanding. Enjoy it, mate. And uh, no doubt you'll be singing loud and proud if the Ds are able to get that flag and, and lift the cup, mate. Thanks for joining us on the Armchair Experts. Good on you guys. Appreciate it. Uh, beautifully done, uh, Russell Robinson. Of course, the last time you cried was when Brian Lake won the Norm Smith, right? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no? 